<laughs> Anakupenda Regina ni ngoma yake akili the brain ni, ni mwandaji wa mziki right now pale Tanzania 255 lakini right kumbuka pia way back aliza kutrain na kibao chake hicho cha Regina kilifanya vizuri sana na kupata umaarufu mkubwa na kuumpa umaarufu mkubwa pia yeye mwenyewe. So right now ni ule wakati umefika ilikuwa ni tatu na dakika tisa uh, ni ule muda wa bumzo. Mhm mm kama dundo na right now tupo na mgeni ambaye kanorota mtakarimisha rashmi kwenye segment yake hii. Mhm. Mm -hmm. Msimi, Kalunde. Yes. Yeah. Kabisa, of course, tukua tumewambia, mm -hmm. uh, tukua na T. Yeah. Kabisa, mm -hmm. yeah, kwenye, anaitu, anaitu wa T ni mm -hmm. kweli. Venye mm -hmm. unamuana mrembo, mwenye dress yake ya red, mm -hmm. inaitu wa silk. Una get, mm -hmm. but she's a media personality. Uh -huh. You know, one of the most sought after. Mm -hmm. Tuko nao hapa in the country. Please, yeah. give it up for the one and only T. Sought after. Well, mm -hmm. let me tell you, my name is Tasha Agunda. When you may say my TV presenter, mm -hmm. um, journalist, come mm -hmm. away like, yeah, we're Tasha. T. <laughs> mm -hmm. They call me I underscore I'm underscore Tamasha on all my social media platforms, mm -hmm. and that's on period. No, even me, I, I know English, you know, and right now we're going to speak it and uh, people ah, to watch it, 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 watch uh, kume kwa na a lot of things going on mm. but one of the thing enye kwanza mimi ilinikula time sana mm. ni surprise party ya Willy Paul Willy Pose mm. uh, tulipigiwa simu na management kambiwa hey mm. kuna birthday party mm. birthday party ni surprise birthday mm. party ya bwana Pose mm. njo kwenye studio Saldido Records mm. sisi kagu moja unguu mbili tumeenda Saldido ni <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, nikenda ni kapak. Mm. Aya, tukangoja wana Willy Paul kwanzia mm. sana nane? Satisa, mm. sa kumi. Mm. Sa kumi na moja, Willy mm. Paul hatokei kwenye bade pati yae. Nasema pose, akadimika kama ketu chabani yaani. Ehe, mm -hmm. sisa Willy Paul, mm. uh, inasemekana eti yee haku wanataka surprise party. Mm. Wengine wanasema ni inakuwa ile udiva ama ile usta. Mm. Sijuji si mnaonaje? Nasema aliwapulia usta. Ehe, aliwapulia usta. Kama ya lizengumze niti yangu, unasema aje... Tasha. Mina kuambia, mm. mi hata nilikuwa in shock. Mm -hmm. Anyway, congratulations to Willy Paul for turning 29. Mm -hmm. But, unajua, I think, uni mse tu anapenda privacy yake. Mm -hmm. Na ah. munge shimutue privacy yake. Sasa no. muna kuja, no. muna makamera. Nakini kwa nikuulize, tukua kwa tukua nafki. Uh -huh. uh, Tiwili Paul anapenda privacy hapo ni uongo metuliangani. You know why? Aki. Kama anapenda privacy, mm -hmm. mambo wote anafanyaga yari ya kiuni uni, mm -hmm. ya kiuja na ujana. Ya kwa public. <laughs> Basi ni yeye mwenyewe akaiposti kwenye mtandao wake kwa tanifanyia mm. surprise. Sawa na na, na washikaji wake wale ambao walimfanyia. Mm. Kama na, sema aliogopa, labda alijua kuna kitu amekifanya, anajua waandisho bali watamuuliza, mm -hmm. maana alikuwa anacheza chini. Mm -hmm. Anafikiria sana ule kijana usimuone hivyo ile pole. Yeah. Eh, yeah. alijua hapo Kalundu yupo. Ndio hatari. Unajua mkubaya, pata chafuka. Eh. Yeah. 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 Lakini yeah. sio poa. Kama mm -hmm. unajua ndisho bali wamekuja, mm -hmm. msanii jitokeze zungumza. Mm -hmm. Ni surprise. Maana wale watu wameweka mafuta, mm -hmm. wame invest kwa ajili ya kuja ku kuku surprise mbona walikuwa na vitu vya vibizi pia piga showbiz sasa hizi tungekuwa tunaongea mambo mengine yeah, yeah, yeah. exclusive hata ingetafuta mtoto mkali pisikali pale aje naye mtoto wa kishua hivi eh huyo alivyo ingia na mtoto mkali nini magaligari fulani hivi angepiga show eh angepiga showbiz pale eh unaona wengi wenzake wenzake kwenye industry wamefanya mambo ya ajabu kama watu wanaachana wanafanya mpaka kuachana party next week inaitwa inaitwaje ile inaitwaje divorce party divorce party eh Na yange fanya introduction party, ndo nafasi nzuli. Washa ni waulize, mm. why do you think that Willie Paul alikuwa ga... This is what I tend to think. Mm. Hii story likuwa hivi, mm. Willie Paul aliona CCTV, mm -hmm. na kulikuwa kukogiza, siyo? Mm. Uh, CCTV zilikuwa zimezimwa. Zilikuwa zimezimwa mm. vipi? Ndiyo, ndiyo asione watu wanakuja kumsurprise. Siyo, sasa ndio ilimshok. Aka, aka sema mbona CCTV zimezimwa, tukawambia, stima 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 zimezimwa, tukawambia, st
No, wazi wanakujaje kunalia kwa watu wake wamwambie wakati tuna management. Ehe. Na management hizi kutakia mabao wakati wanakula kupitia wewe. Tulitoka nje. Ndio ulipolaangalia aone hakuna watu. Kwa hiyo hapo ndo aliharibu. Hapo ndo aliharibu. Ingebaki tu hivyo stima zimepotea zijarudi asubiri. Lakini sasa umbea ambao anaulizaje kalioni maana ulikuwa kule kwa uliponi. Na ustawa wake huo na ukubwa wake. Kwa nini ulipona hata generator nini? Nini stima zi, kesi zipotee? Hasikuwa zimepotea stima zikuwa zipotee. Ah, ni kesi zipotee. Ngenipesa kwenye generator. Na tulia umbea ya mbuna natumia generator. Tulia umbea. Anyway, moving forward, toge kusu harmonize, konde boy. Harmonize, alienda on social media, aka big up Abigail Chams. Na kusema she is one of the biggest Uh, female artists we have in East Africa. Na kwenye Insta story yake alikuwa yeah. naeka very broken English. Na watu walikuwa wanasema ah ungetumia tu Kiswahili yeah. kusema huyu mm. no one of the biggest stars we have in East Africa. No. Na yeye aka respond akasema mm. yeye ali ye, English is not his first language. Yeah. Aliachia shule class 7. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo watu wache kumchamba chamba na mm. kizungu kila mm. time. Mm. Lakini kuna jambo tu moja kama mm. anataka watu wache kumchamba mm. kuna ile kizungu kujifunza mm. kuna ile kuweng yake huwa ana weng mm. ndo hapo shida mimi niko nayo No Satan no, anapenda no, kuweng No Satan unajua wale zingatia wanavozungumza mwanzo kwenye first language yako mm -hmm. Oye na kuaje Usinielewa mambo vipi So kwenye kizungu tukitranslate He you know What you do my name is Konde boy. Ah, wenzetu hawaji kutoka kwetu. Wenzetu hawaji kutoka kwenye Afrika. Wanaiga kwa wazungu. Sawa, zile filamu wanaona za Black Americans weusi kama sisi wanaiga pale. Mbona kina Mina Ali wanaongea tu vizuri? No, inategemea kini wasanii wanaiga kutoka kwa wasanii wenzao kina Mikimili, kina Naniri, wanaitwaje wasanii wengi hao? Kina Calligraph Jones eh. Mm, kama unasemaje tasha? Mimi nasema tu harmonize mmoja tu wenye yuko. Tumemzoea tu wenye yuko. Mbona Diamond akiongea? Kwa Diamond alikuwa kule nini? America na Snoop Dogg na akasemaga nini? Alisemaga nini? Kulikuwa na natamka. Lakini sasa unajua huko anaongelesha wazungu. Watu wenye kizungu. Unamjua harmonize. Harmonize anakuaga tu hivyo. Kutoka tu kitango si the first time ameongea English. Akiongea English anaongea tu broken. Mwelewe. Hivi ndo anakuaga tu harmonize. Kwa ujumbe unafika home. So wali elewa alikuwa anamzungumzia bi chance. Na mimi naona. Na mimi naona tu. Na mimi naona tu. Um, akituangalisha sisi wenye kujua Kiswahili tuangalisha tu Kiswahili. Na hata hiyo Kiswahili ya Tanzania ni wa Kenya mtaelewa. Si ndio? Tutaelewa. Tutaelewa, tutaelewa. Lakini ongea sana kwa Monaise kwa kuonyesha juhudi kwamba kila kukicha na jaribu kujifunza Kizungu na mwisho siku hata kwenye Never Give Up alichoonyesha umaili mkubwa sana kaimba nyimbo ya Kizungu ya Never Give Up bashe ni nzima. Ana glow kila siku nyitu tacheka lakini mwanzo anapiga hatua kila siku. Si hata kwa hotel amelisema hivyo hivyo. Yeye kwa hotel sijui na nini lakini wanajiongeza sasa hii mwanzo tutira anapiga hatua anajaza show kwa yes. Netherlands wow. and as you you wapi? Wow. Yeah. So hapo anapiga hatua. Wewe na kizungu yako yeah. umekaa. Eh yeah, kizungu tuna pia perfect tusubiria. Hauna pesa kwa bucket. To move on to Rwanda. Now yeah. Rwanda singer Bruce Melody. Mm. Uh, alijipata matatani venye mm. alienda uh, in Bujumbura yu, yu, Burundi mm -hmm. uh, kwa sababu venye ali, aliingia tu hivi kwenye airport akafanya interview moja mbili tatu yeah. next thing tunaona ako under police custody mm -hmm. kwa sababu ya an alleged fraud yani in 2018 Bruce Melody ali, alikuwa aende kuperform hakuperform yeah. akahepa na um, pesa za wenyewe za promoter kwa hivyo huyo promoter since 2018 ni kama alikuwa amesema Bruce Melody ukisharudi Burundi yeah. wewe utajua ujui yeah. aka akajipata uh, kwenye uh, under police custody mm -hmm. uh, na pia alikuwa na show uh, mm. later on mm. on Friday yako amerelizewa sasa tunashindwa itakuwaaje itakuwaaje tumbo limejaa joto Friday Friday mm. yako na show Saturday yako na show mm. ndio baadaye akarelizewa mm. and then akaeka post on social media kitangu mm. mafans wake iko e, kwenye screen wa mafans wake wa Burundi mm. akisema tonight you showed me exceptional love mm. you pulled up and we parted like crazy thank you so mm. much yeah. sasa sijui mnaonaje um, kuhusu wasanii kuperform kuhepa na ma, pesa ya ma promoter mm. nadhani the way ma promoter wanachukua mm -hmm. is good lakini nadhani mwisho siku 
kwa kwa pati zote mbili mm -hmm. iwe kwamba kuna kandarasi ambayo imeandikwa kwamba hichi nichi ndio kinatokea baada yeah. ikitokea kwamba ujakuja mm -hmm. hichi nichi kinatokea these are the consequences nadhani mwisho right. siku maana nadhani zidili nyingi muda mwingi watu wanachukuliaga poa poa karondo vipi njoo msi mm -hmm. tukupa hela fulani ni poa hivi imeisha hivyo mm -hmm. lakini kukuona kandarasi vitu vinakuwa serious nadhani mm -hmm. itakuwa yeah. bora zaidi mm -hmm. so watu wasifanye vitu kienyeji yeah. maana hata mimi niko kwenye department ya wasani unapata wengi ma promoter wanakupigia ni kwenye oya tunafanya hichi nichi fresh lakini hawataki kuichukulia serious kwenye kwa kuandika chini so watu wakiichukulia hivyo nadhani pia vitu vitakuwa serious and i think ali alikuwa arrested because there was a contract right yes i think there was a contract lakini sasa shida ni and this is my question who mtu kutoka 2018 anakuja sasa 2022 ndio anaanza kudai pesa zake yes true but mbona hakumfuata for those three years unakuja sasa later ndakwenda <laughs> Si wame negotiate. Uh -huh. Umse ala sema ala taka 30, I think it was 30 million mm. francs. Mm -hmm. mm. Si waka negotiate, waka negotiate aka sema atalipa. Mm. And that's why actually ali rilisiwa. Mm. Later on umse ala change ala sema ala taka 60 million. Uwoni kama umse ala kwa gatu na TV ya motives. Wala watu wanataka kuhiti kwa njia nyingi unajua watu wanataka kuhiti kwa njia nyingi na hapo kwa kwenye kubadilisha tena mwelekeo kwa kama kinyonga kwamba yeah. ah, so poa ni na interest na interest that mom that mom yeah. Yeah. kama kwenye contract kama kwenye contract ilikuwa inasema kuna interest itakuepo it's okay kutafunika lakini kama ilikuwa ndiko eh ilisema 2000 dollars mm. plus damages sa hiyo si ilikuwa ya you know um seven ya ali spend to save my drinks mm. over mm. a bar unajua mm. uh, mavendors and all those things 2000 equals uh, probably kama 200, laki mbili na yes 200000 30 million msanii mkubwa sana ule anachukua hela ndogo kama hiyo ah hiyo siku 2018 unajua ni 200000 na alikuwa ndio sisi huku lakini kwenye unajua mwisho wa siku kama babu zetu walikuwa polygamous sawa na sisi ni wajukuu na tunaambua kwamba tuheshimu mila na desturi za Kiafrika hapo tusiheshimu hizo mila na desturi za Kiafrika wanzeta kwenye kwa watu ambao wanaamini dini ya Kiislamu na ruhusu kwenye dini ya Kikristo tukiangalia sio ya kina Abrahamu kina nani isha kina Solomon nani wale watu mnaona historia kabisa kwa sasa vijana wa sasa muwafungie wakati idadi inazidi kuwa nyingi sio mbaya ani kila mtu hapa kama unahisi kwa makilo safi poa tufanye zile siku za solo ani priest ameshaelewa Kenrel bis eh, yani sitaki kuongea nizidishe ni kukere Kenrel bis yeah. so let's go to the next story ah <laughs> yeah. uh, tunamwongea kontongea kusu Azuchu uh, na Diamond Platinum mm. first of all Azuchu uh, alikuwa na ki, kimdoli yake eh nimeongea kikamba kabisa <laughs> mdoli wake <laughs> so nasema ni mdoli ama ama doli ama ama teddy bear mm. uh, ya red pale na alikuwa ameenda backstage kupatana na mama dangote mm. dangote ambaye ni mama jamo platinums akampea gift ya mdoli na akamwambia mm. huyu ni mjukuu wako kwa hivyo na yeye mama damo ndo atakasema tumuite Sanura ama Sandra. Yeah, Sanura tukia, ama tukia Sandra. Tumazu, sio? Eh kabisa ah, kabisa. Ah, ah.
Yeah, kabisa video ni kwa mujibu wa uh, Wasafi TV. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Na nilikuwa ni, nakuelezea kwa sababu Kerel Bisa aliniambia anaitwa Mdoli, yule mm. anaitwa Mdoli. Mm. So that that teddy bear red, uh, umesikia amesema huyu ndio mjukuu amemuita Sanura ama amemuita Sandra na mm. uh, mama damo anaitwa Sanura Sandra Kasim. Mm. Kwa hivyo anataka kumuita jina ya ya Grand Charles. Mm. So hiyo you know, tu this is a banter but ni, ku, ni kuonyesha mama Dangote amemu accept zuchu kama um, lava wa mtoto wake ama tutasemaje yeah. amemwa accept ah, so for diamond platinum hapo mwanzo tunasema ni patamu mm -hmm. patamu kwenye style gani mm -hmm. kwenye style kwamba ni mother in law ule mm. sio mm -hmm. mwanzo unasemaje eh kama kama amemwoa ni mother in law hili sasa kwenye kwa act act ya lile acting yeah. si ndio mm -hmm. eh sasa ameanza ku accept kwamba mazawadi zawadi ali afi ile ni ishara anazungumza nayo kwamba wewe vipi ni kama diamond lisasi zina nini bunduki mm. na lisasi mm -hmm. na lisasi ni kama imeua sehemu mm. ushaelewa mm. so mwisho siku nilipo mwambia kwamba tunaanza na hichi alafu baadaye itakondo hichi hivi hivi ushaelewa eh kama unasemaje i'm telling you this is serious mm -hmm. why yani diamond platinums okay kuni before like uh, some time before mm -hmm. uh, kulikuwa na story that unajua mama ke diamond mm. hakumwa yes. accept sasa yes. so, hii ni mdoli ya tunasema ni kama acceptance mm. yes. number one, sawa mm. basi tume tume accept that ame accept mm. but can we take it to consideration mm -hmm. vile diamond alisema he's not ready for marriage so anafanya nini sasa si Diamond alisema yake he's not ready for marriage sisi tu ni ku force issues tunakaa tuangalie mm -hmm. alisema akiretire mm. atapata mke mm. lakini hajasema ni zuchu sasa tuangoja tuone tulidhani <laughs> kama ni zuchu in 2016 mm. tulidhani mke ni, ni really? zari mbona mm. wako serious wako serious alafu unajua ile ni treasure sana kwa Diamond right now yeah. Yeah. right now umesema yeah. right now yeah, umesema right now sibuki mapato mengi sana sasa hivi pia ni, ni zuchu yeah. so naamini kwamba ile ni familia utajiri na shauna future kwamba huyu ni mwanamke wangu anazalia na iti anafanya nini zote mm -hmm. fresh mm -hmm. lakini pia yeah, yeah. Mm. reports reaching us ni kwamba kweli mm. diamond platinum na zuchu wako mapenzini kabisa no, wamezama kwenye dimbi la mahaba kabisa kabisa umesikia kama unasema wamezama kwenye dimbi la mahaba ah sawa hey. basi next ehe hey. wamezama kabisa hmm. but tu, tuonge kusu baraka the prince hmm. baraka the prince ni a tanzanian artist ambaye anajulikana kwa love songs kama ila misi achani nawe ningekuwa najua yeah, kuimba vizuri kalundu msimi ni mazungu ametoka iwani hapo ningekuwa nawaambia but amesema hmm. uh, yeye ampendi tumsikilize fanye hivi tumsikilize alafu tuje tujeleze vizuri kiungani sio mhm mm hebu tuisikilize so mwanangu haisikwa mwanangu kwa nini sasa mimi na mimi na aligiba mwana tangu lini sasa okay labda kauli ambayo umeitoa pale stage ni kuhusu ali wewe ni mwanangu mimi vio kwenye black na ukaka black kwenye white na ukaka white wewe unaza yanga kaisifia simba kweli bro manake nini manchester kaisifia liverpool manake nini hii biashara yeah yeah sasa kama umefanya ngoma nae sunuzo ka perform tu no comment no comment no comment lakini pia mashabiki wametia kulicho labda wanataka kujua kwani baraka akasema alikiba simpendi alikiba mashabiki no simpendi alikiba unataka niseme nini tena simkubali alikiba ndio master wako mba mnyimbo na bro unataka nini tena no comment Ehe, umesikia baraka the prince pale hivyo amesema yeye hampendi alikiba kwa hivyo mashabiki mjue yeye hampendi alikiba na ina kumbukwa eh wala simkubali alikiba ehe amkubali mm. na ampendi yeah. uh, back in the day yeah. like Three, three years ago alikuwa ako signed na alikiba kwenye yeah. rockstar yeah. na walikuwa hata washafanya a very uh, nice hit song yeah. na waka, waka pathways atukujua kwa nini wamepathways ehe sasa sasa hii unaweza 
Yani ilifika kiwango yenye mm. uh, Baraka the Prince anaweza enda on in public aseme mm. si, si mkubali, si mpendi. Mm. Yes. Sijui kama uh, T you feel like wasanii wakiwa in such differences wanafaa kuja into public na what, what, what they feel about another artist. Mimi mm. nakwambia ugomvi ni kawaida. But what I'm not a fan of mm -hmm. ni kuwa disloyal. Mimi naona vitu kama hizo zina kuwa disloyal. Mm. Ebu let's just go back yeah. and harmonize na, na diamond. Yes. Mm. Na, na harmonize akakuja akasema vitu you know vitu very secret mm -hmm. about diamond. Although he was trying to give out his point, mm -hmm. well, but I thought that was a bit you know disloyal. Mm -hmm. However, mm. Umse kusema alikiba sijua mpendi wala mtaki. I don't feel like it is any of our business. They are friends. They are friends, but I don't feel like it's any of our business. Kwa hini ni biashara yetu sisi wambea. Wow. Sisi ni wambea sa ni biashara yetu. Mwana mpendi. Mwana mpendi. Mwana mpendi. Wakati kuna siku mwako mekwa chini ya. Kwa hini ni kwa hini kwa hini. Kwa hini kwa hini. Kwa hini kwa hini. Tuseme sasa kama alikiba labda tu. Ayani mpendi juu alikiba alichukwa gatu kimini kipisi chaki. Yeah, Lakini <laughs> Mbana za kasama kanono na vimba, mina mjua wa vimba. Sio. Fresh kabisa kingine na machinini. Aha, tukimalizia ni kwamba the band from Rwanda, amesema I do legally kwenye attorney general kule. Kwa hivyo ni legally in terms of, you know, government. Wajavaa zile white wakaingia kwenye church, but legally ako married. Now, ye kukua married, kumbuka he's one of the most sought after in Rwanda. Na he's... One of, yani one of the good looking men we have in East Africa, if I would say. Mm -hmm. But pia na uliza, wengi wanasema, ye kuwa inamtoa kwenye market. No, mwane mtoa kwenye market. Niliambiwa ni, ni na mtu kumba, watu wamba wamefunga ndoa, mm -hmm. na wamba wamba attract. Ah! Ani niliambiwa njini dada zangu kumba, mm -hmm. na wapenda watu wamba walingia kwenye ndoa. Sasa eh. munaona kama wako responsible, oh, wanajua kutunza, mm -hmm. ya nisikia munapenda hivyo sana. Mm -hmm. Kweli? Mwini nifanya experiment na babangu kwenye TikTok. Aha. Uh -huh. What, 600 comments. Yeah. Madem wakiniuliza is he single is he single so nikashanga. Na umesema ni babako. Na ni babako yeah. man. Mm. Na ni mama. Nasema ni hot. Eh. Liti kwenye show ya Madem. Madem wasema ni mseni ni hot na shanga i. Mm. Ni aje. <laughs> so ina maanisha watu Madem hapa hakuna mwanaume wa mtu. Mwanaume mm -hmm. wa mtu ni kwa nyumba. Ah sorry for all. Hey, Meja alisema hivyo. Akitoka. Kuna time yeah. kuna time Meja alikuwa hapa. Uh -huh. Na nikamuliza uh, ilo swala kwa mba yeah. unamini kwa mba kwa mtu kuwa na mwana mkeo kakasema na wacha ni kwa viki tuki moja. Mwana mm -hmm. mke ni wako kiwa nae. Mm -hmm. Aki undoka. Uh -huh. Achia mwana jamii. Ah. Jamani. 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 Diamond was not as big as he is right now. Come out one Azari. In it all white party. Now, one beam say, Ali, 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 Sasa right now, si ya tinikitu mbacho ni 100% kibetibia ila mimi na vuviona mimi sasa, yaani maoni yangu mimi kama keni. Kwa mba watu wengi wako kwenye mausiano mazuri, saa, people are not in good relationship. So mwisho siku, wakiona kama kuna mtu wanaka kama mausiano yako vizuri, life, mudewe watu wana imagine, kuna mtu wanakifanya the right way, wanapenda sana wanataka kufatia salata na tela wanamtaka mbako yu mtu. Wana kile mtu wanataka kupendwa, kanu mtu wanataka mtu kupendwa yu? Tutuzo kupe matuzo kupe tipeti. Chana taka kupendo na watu wengi. Yani nikipata mapenzi kutoka watu wengi. Takwa tisawa. Anyway, that's all we have for Dondo. Of course, hashtag wae mashariki live Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania. Yeah, kabisa. Sanya nene comment hapo to nasema aji. Siyo? Ehe, na muona... Benjamin Mungu wanaona natuwa comment hapo kwa Atasha. Nasema Nikolox nikoki rugoe. Uwe dem ame ni film bias. Ha 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 
Unamwambiaje? I feel pure baby. Mr. T official anasema sasa mbona mlienda hiyo sherehe? Pozea aliona hiyo ni utoto na umama. Sawa tu. Sawa sana. Ila right now acha niona wale watoto ambao wanazungumza kwenye mitandao kijamii hapa namcheki Instagram na mcheki Racha Jose yuko ndani na mcheki SB Dance na mcheki DJ Splash 254 vile vile na mcheki Agustin Kavia. Aha na mcheki kwenye Jared na mcheki Jali Aditicho na mcheki vile vile Manjo Classic na mcheki Smile is my 56 na mcheki Ronnie Nelson vile vile na mcheki nani mimi nazungumza he he zidi kwa chakomi kupitia Instagram kupitia Facebook na kupitia Twitter. So right now Tamasha, na bidi tusepe sepe tuondoke. For sure. Eh wanasema kile chendo mwanzo. Mhm. Ikosi mwisho lakini ni mwisho tu wa dondoo tunazidi kuendelea kipindi zaidi. So Tamasha unaambiaje mashabiki wako na kila kitu? Nawaambia guys, follow me on Instagram and all my social media platforms. I underscore am underscore Tamasha. Oh ndio hii kamera yangu. Wacha niwaambie vizuri sasa. I underscore am underscore Tamasha on all my social media platforms. Ni follow and you might get a follow back. Mhm. Kina Benjamin bana ndugu zangu mfuulize kule kwenye DM mzame mbogo ukajua afu nimekaza chini ya kapeti hizi siko nilisema kini nazisema singo gali so ndugu zangu bahati kwenye singo yani hapa watawaka sawa sawa kabisa mtazamaji kalio ts kana right now tunarudi kwenye muziki hapo na dj ts on the one and twos azidi go check comment kupitia comment section ego with the name kimbral bc you put marshall you put dj ts you put kalendar.com sima right now ts do what you do best